how does business view that? Because we have been in this situation before where we've had a hung parliament. Yeah, look, I think business has got pretty used to this. I mean, we've had 10 years of this, and either it's kind of a hung parliament or it's a Senate that uh, people can't work with. The challenge for the parliament is to get on with things. And, you know, uh, some of these things, we haven't got a choice to get on with energy policy. We haven't got a choice to get on with climate policy. We haven't got a choice to make our economy stronger. The backdrop of continued global volatility, we have to do these things. So parliament just can't afford to bury its head in the sand and, and forget the national interests. Now, you know, business, of course, has been putting up with this for a long, long time. And of course, they shouldn't lecture uh, people in Canberra, got our own backyard to fix up. But they've just been getting on, making their businesses stronger, employing Australians, uh, continuing to grow and firepowering the economy. And, and no one should doubt the Australian economy is still in great shape. Last week, we had a uh, unemployment figure, which was a zero unemployment. So the economy is still strong. Uh, we need to make it stronger, more resilient. That's what we're calling on the parliament to do. Okay, what is the biggest uh, piece of legislation or policy uh, that business wants sorted out right now? Is it that energy policy? Because we know that uh, the former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, of course, had his national energy guarantee. Uh, the business community was largely supporting that because it essentially uh, provided certainty on energy policy. That was, of course, trashed, and we saw what happened to him as a, as a result in part of taking that policy to the party room. Uh, we know that Scott Morrison's been out this week saying that he's going to lower power prices uh, for households. But in terms of an energy policy, it's still essentially lacking. So what does business want to see? Well, well you, you, you do have to have a policy that brings together uh, affordability, reliability, security and our obligations under the Paris Agreement. And of course, you know, if you try and do one of those things without having regard to the other, you end up sort of making a bit of a mess. Uh, so, you know, what we want to see is action on price. Now, the government has many recommendations from the ACCC's report that it could act on to start lowering prices. Uh, we can lower prices over the long term by increasing supply, so removing these uh, moratoriums on uh, the exploration of gas. Uh, we can, uh, of course, do a lot more uh, to give business certainty for investment in existing plant, which is also going to uh, factor in on both price and reliability. And of course, business needs certainty over climate policy. We've got basically unstable policy here. Business supports the Paris Agreement. It supports the 26 20 to 28% target. But we need to understand how that is going to be implemented. At the moment, uh, we've got two completely different policies uh, from both sides of politics. We need certainty, we need some stability, we need some predictability so that companies can invest. And that's not just in renewables, that's in our existing coal fire power stations, uh, many of which need upgrading and renewal. How do you invest in that when you don't know how carbon will be treated 10, 15 years out? Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.